Audio Spectrum Visualizers. <laughs> What is it? It's that little thing that basically reacts to music. Can you display them on your live stream? Yes, you can. You can actually have software or plugins that will react to the music that you can add to your overlay for a little bit of, you know, to make it a little spicy. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. We're gonna try it, but I wanted to add that little extra guy level sauce. And what I mean by that is instead of just blatantly just slapping it on an overlay, I wanted to make a camera overlay that would integrate the audio visualizer in it, which technically should be something simple to achieve once you have the actual visualizer on your stream. But two things before we start, shout out to Elvin Carey for tweeting my latest video. Always appreciate it when you guys tweet my videos and a message from our sponsor. This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned. Owned is your one-stop shop for customizing your live stream. They have a wide variety of customizable products from your logo, your banner, your offline image, your animated overlays, your sub emotes, your loyalty points, subscriber badges, everything from start to finish. Now what I love the most is their emote maker. I haven't seen that anywhere else and I think it's pretty revolutionary. So if I go here and I select adult male as a character, I can go ahead and customize it and it will generate emotes for me. And now if I click generate emote, I already have everything that I need. Love emote, GG emote, high emote, hype emote, etc. And the cool thing, the even cooler thing is that this is a character ID that was generated. If I want, I can copy this character ID and anytime that I want to come back, I don't have to recreate a character that looks like me anymore. I can just put in the character ID and then do whatever I want to do. They also provide gaming mascots and an avatar maker, but I'll let you guys figure that out. All you have to do is go to own.gg slash level. That's O-W-N-3-D.gg slash level. A little more about our sponsor. Make sure you check both links in the description because Owned is actually having huge sales during the holidays. It's going to be like from 40% to 60% all the way up to Christmas. So check them out. All right, so I haven't actually done this before, so we're going in a little adventure together. I found a thread on Reddit about audio visualizers, and apparently there is this one thing called Spectralizer, and this is an OBS plugin. The thing is, I'm using OBS to record right now, and also I want to show you something that you can apply on whatever streaming software you're using. So we're not gonna go with Spectralizer, but I'm just wanted to let you know that is an option if you're exclusively using OBS Studio. What we're gonna do instead of using a plugin for OBS Studio, we're gonna use a program that is its own audio visualization program so that we can just window capture. And apparently we have two main choices, vsxu.com, um, which looks great. There's a lot of, uh, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of options. And then there's Plane 9, which seems to be like the, the simplest one to get. So we're gonna use Plane 9, okay? So I'm gonna click on download and, oh, that's gonna be where I wanna put it. Uh, let's drop it wherever. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my camera just so to make sure that I don't mess up anything and I don't block anything with my face. All right, Plane 9 is currently downloaded. We're gonna click on it. All right, click next to continue. License agreement, agree. Set as the full screensaver. Uh, I don't want that. I don't even think I want the screensaver. I'm, I'm not sure. Studio helps in creation of videos. I I don't think I want that. All right, hopefully I'm not making mis a mistake. Uh, let's just keep this. Right, I'm gonna select where I want to install it. Right in it, click OK, click install. Hopefully it doesn't ask me to restart the computer. It would be <laughs> annoying since I'm recording. All right, I don't want a screensaver. Leave me alone. Finish. OK, um, let's find it maybe. There we go. Play nine windowed. Oh God, what is this? Okay, so you just click. Wait, do you click? <laughs> Configure plane nine. There you go. I don't want all of that. This is cool, but I don't want all of that. I just want a normal visualizer. I want to create a new playlist just to make sure that I don't mess up anything. I'm going to deselect everything. Why is the normal visualizer not in here? Oh my God, there's a lot of them. Okay, so this one is here. Block Spectrum, there you go. Okay, so I'm clicking a new playlist that currently has zero scenes. I'm gonna go there and maybe click here. Okay, so it has one scene. So that's what I want right now. Okay, so then you click on the little thing to make it appear. Uh, I'm gonna try playing some music. Let me put my headset on. Now I know I'm probably gonna get some questions about which songs I'm playing. Those are songs from my music channel, Get Level Music. Search it up on YouTube. Yes, yeah, so let's try it out. How loud is that? Uh, maybe a little too loud. Uh, but it's working. It seems to be... There it is.
works really well. Okay, um, now how would I add this to, for example, Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio? Let me open up Streamlabs OBS. Okay, we're on Streamlabs OBS right now. Let me close this. Okay, let me create a new scene. Or you know what, let's add it to this scene. I would go ahead and click on that plus. It would be the same thing for, for OBS Studio, okay? So don't, don't panic. Window capture, add source, name it whatever you want, and then make sure that it captures a specific scene and it should be that one. Yes, okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna click okay. Let's see what it looks like if I start playing music now. Okay, that works. Now, technically we can add a chroma key filter or a color key filter, get rid of everything that's black basically, but we're gonna see if it's possible for us to have transparency. Uh, maybe window capture is not the, the best. Let me let me try game capture or maybe even this. Oh no, display capture wouldn't have transparency. Game capture. Call this one audio. And here, let's go with capture specific window. Oh, it's already. And there we go. Here, there is allowed to. Oh, that works. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's click. Well, this is a normal source that means that if it's a visual source and it is here on streamlabs obs or obs studio that means that you can right click it go to filters and probably add something like a color correction and um, play around with the colors i'm guessing yes okay now we can make it match the branding and everything you know we got that purple that cyan uh let's lower the saturation nice brighter yeah something like that okay now we're full you see that you see that branding okay <laughs> now let's make a <laughs> let's make a camera overlay that goes with it and the principle here is going to be create the camera overlay and make sure that the spectrum thingy is <laughs> contained within within the camera overlay right uh right now for my normal camera overlay i have this and let's say if I create another shape and I want it to show within the, the overlay. Anyways, let's let's start making it. It it's I'm not gonna make a how to make a camera overlay tutorial. I'm gonna open up Photoshop, make it, probably make a time lapse, and I'm gonna show you how to actually make it so that it is contained though. So don't worry about that part. Uh let's go. Hopefully my computer doesn't crash with me opening all of that stuff. Okay, so that's gonna be our camera overlay. And since I went a little bit complex with it, I'm gonna need two main masks. I'm gonna need a mask for the audio spectrum, but I'm also gonna need a mask for the actual camera because right now, this is not gonna fit. So I'm gonna go back to Streamlabs OBS. I'm gonna create a, actually, I'm gonna go on a whole different uh, <laughs> scene collection just to make sure I don't mess up my actual stream. Oh, remember this, this tutorial? All done in Streamlabs OBS. Go watch my video. So let's add a brand new scene. There you go. And I'm gonna add my camera, video capture device, add source. Again, all of the things that I'm showing here are pretty much the exact same in OBS Studio. All right, so let's go back to Photoshop. This is a 1080p canvas right now. And what I can do is, first of all, start by saving my camera. So I'm gonna save it as a PNG. So I just control shift S to save as. Okay, while we're at it, we're also gonna save the PSD. And now we need to create an alpha mask for both of those things that I listed. So for the camera and also for the spectrum visualizer. For the camera, we just need something that will have this shape so that the camera will fit, so that those corners here will be cut out of our actual camera. So that part is kind of easy. I can just do it with a pen tool if I wanted to. And let's say that I want to. So I'm gonna grab my pen tool, do this, do that. Let's do that as long as it's within the boundaries and I'm cutting off the parts that I don't want to cut off. I'll be good. Let's make it a selection. Click OK. Make sure it's selecting everything inside of your little mask thing. You can press Control Shift I in order to inv invert the selection. And I'm just going to fill this with the paint bucket tool. I'm going to fill this with 
white actually and i'm gonna group up the rest just to make sure that i don't mistakenly do anything we're gonna deselect Control d we're gonna make the background black so this is our mask for the camera so i'm gonna save this as a png and this is gonna be camera mask all right good now how do you apply a mask it's in a filter same thing with obs studio oops uh go filters click here image mask blend click done and then here it says alpha mask color channel click browse go find that thing that you just created and camera mask click ok and as you can see up there i got it we can even import the the camera overlay at this point it's an image so we can click plus add image add source browse camera overlay done so we have our camera there's like little pixel issues here but whatever we're gonna keep it like that now how do we make it so that we can add the the audio spectrum we just know that the middle is going to be empty Wh whatever i'm just going to make the mask <laughs> you know i think you get it by now right let's turn this off let's turn this back on and let's figure it out so the easy way of going about this would be to just select the empty space and for that i'm going to use the magic wand i believe that should help me simple all layers okay hold shift to add more boom 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 and now i have selected everything but the actual camera overlay so i can go Control shift i to invert the selection and now i can add the color that i wanted which is going to be white because white reveals and black hides but i actually don't want it to be the way it is right now as you can see it's a little it's too tight basically i don't want it to cover the whole thing i have like a little bevel outside of it so i'm going to contract the selection to make it a little smaller basically contract and let's add like three pixels nice as you can see it contracts a little bit so my bevels will still be visible okay we're still on an empty layer and now let's add our white using the paint bucket tool boom now there's a little deformation here but it doesn't matter i don't want it to go all the way up either way it's not going to go all the way up either way um let's turn on the background let's turn off the actual camera and now we can export this and this is going to be our spectrum mask we need to re-add the spectrum again remember it was game capture in order to have the transparency find it capture specific window plane 9 allow transparency and drag it up until it fills the screen you can see that the, the camera overlay is not perfect but whatever now filters add a filter image mask blend boom browse and find that last one spectrum mask Boom, and technically you can't see anything here, but we're gonna test it and see if it actually works, okay? So let me put my Windows Media to the side here. Let's pray. It works, it works. And as you can see, you can see a little bit of the bevel, but probably like delete uh, part of that. Like I messed up like by one pixel here in my mask, but this is just an example of showing you what is possible. I'm gonna group them up all stop the music i'm gonna group it up holding shift uh, clicking on group or you can right click and create a folder or right click and group uh, and this is gonna be camera overlay camera overlay that's the group now i can resize it and move it together and stuff like that okay nice okay let's add some filters now nice <laughs> and that's it we did it we literally we did it i can put a game in the background so that would be your camera overlay you know i'm <laughs> no um playing apex like this and if you want to put your camera here it reacts to music it, it just reacts to music now stop the music this stops boom this goes up super simple actually like super simple to to do um, we did it. <laughs> and of course, now that we have our mask, everything is going to match. Uh, we can even switch. I think we can still switch the, um, the playlist, like add more stuff to the playlist. 
and see what's up. So I'm just gonna put this one and I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, and now since I changed, oh, there it is. Oh my God. Yo, <laughs> this doesn't seem to, I don't know how this reacts to, to music, but look at all the things you can do. Look at all the things you can do. This is dope. This is actually super cool. So you can use it not just for, you know, not just for music, all the, all the visualizers that are included in Play 9, you can use them. You can just use them, lol. That is so, so cool. Anyways, I'm a, I don't want the video to be an hour long. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this. Let's go back. Let's go back. That, that's it. You, you got it. Okay. You understood it. <laughs> and here it is. This is how you can add a visual, <laughs> an audio visualizer to your webcam overlay using masks. Basically, I also taught you how to add mask and have different webcam shapes. Um, a lot of different techniques are mixed in to have this one result. And uh, thanks to like this awesome software called Play 9, you can add whatever type of visualization that they offer. Apparently, it's free. I haven't I haven't seen anything that required me to pay. So, yeah, about the camera overlay, you know what? I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to make sure it looks good. And I'm going to include all the files that you saw here. There will be a link in the description. I'm not going to put it on Gumroad, so it's going to be like an imager. So you guys can access it for free and you can do whatever you want with it, okay? <laughs> so you don't have to create your own webcam because I know you guys, I don't have Photoshop, I can't. Anyways, <laughs> let me know if you found that video uh, interesting, um, if it was helpful in any way. And uh, make sure you watch my other videos. I have a ton of videos that teaches you like all different techniques when you're live streaming to, to do um, beginner stuff as well as advanced stuff. This is more kind of advanced, I'd, I'd say, not, but not really. That being said, if you're looking for some other already animated overlay packs, including camera overlays, go to gumroad.com slash get level. There's a bunch of them that are free, and then the rest is just very, 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 very affordable, okay? This, I'm talking like 99 cents to like 10 bucks, max. Free overlays and cheap overlays, gumroad.com slash get level. And if you have any cool ideas like this one, just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be glad to read them and take them into to account if you've watched multiple of my videos already like uh, it's time for you to subscribe it, it is time ring the notification bell make sure it's set to all and not personalize or whatever and then top right youtube will tell you what they think is the best video you should watch next at the bottom of it you will actually see my most recent video so check that out keep on learning about live streaming and that being said i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching my video go out there make me proud a guy level out